Today we will be reviewing how to reserve a room using Outlook 2007. UCOP conference rooms are reserved via the Outlook calendar. Rooms are treated as participants. Uh, you bring up a list of rooms in the calendar scheduling assistant to view the availability and then you can invite that room. So there are several different ways to do this. Um, it is important to know that there are several different ways and I'll, in the next uh, minute here I'll show you uh, one or two different ways to do that. Okay. First of all, you want to create a meeting. So if I go to December 9th here, if I right click, it'll give me an option to say new meeting request. Another way you can do that is also go up to the new option here with the drop down and say new meeting request. Here you know, of course, the standard meeting room or meeting uh, pop up where you can put in the subject. You can also verify the date and the time if you want to change the time of the meeting and put in the body of the request. If I go to the scheduling assistant, I'm given an option down here on the bottom left hand side to say add rooms. If I click on add rooms, I'm given a pop up. You'll have a, an entire list of all the available conference rooms in UCOP. Here we have a couple of examples. We have Franklin, we have Kaiser, we also have OSF. If I select and double click on a couple of rooms here, I'll do Franklin and Kaiser, and then hit OK, notice Franklin and Kaiser pop up. If the room is booked, it would have a blocked out purple line here, similar to what I have here on mine, between 8 and 9, 8.30 and 9. But both of these rooms are free, and I only need one. So I'm going to go ahead and unclick Kaiser and choose Franklin. Now when I go back to my appointment, if you notice, Franklin is seen as a participant and it's also set up in my location as well. So once again, I put in the subject, put in whatever the meeting is about in the body. If I don't like the room, I can always go back here to this button and change the rooms. You have this time and the date that you want to verify. And of course, if you need to add more attendees, you click on the two field and you choose your people that you want to add. When your meeting is set, all you have to do is hit send. And in Outlook, you will receive an automated generated um, approval or denial. So if the room is available, you'll get this uh, approval email in your inbox. And if it's declined, for example, if it was busy and already used, um, you would get it declined. Well, that's just about it. That's how you set up a room reservation in Outlook 2007. Thanks for your time and have a good day.